Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's been about roughly three weeks uh, into quarantine and I'm pretty sure a lot of you girls are suffering from excessive hair growth. We're not suffering, that's how we live. Because uh, I get excessive hair growth on my face. I honestly don't really thread as often now uh, but this is a hack that I learned long back and it was really handy for those days where I did not have the time to visit a parlor and you know I had some event to attend or something like that so this is a hack that you need to know apart from quarantine also because we'll be living our lives post quarantine as well uh, and all you need is just like a thread and your own hands you don't need anybody else to help you out with this trust me just yourself and some confidence and that's it you saw them. So yeah, without wasting any more time, let's get into the video. You guys are literally staring into my soul right now. So yes, I do have a little bit of makeup on my face, but just concealer underneath my eyes, a little bit of blush, uh, lipstick and uh, mascara and all of that. So I don't have base base as such. I suggest if you're doing this, just do a patch test first uh, before you run it around your face because then if you're not uh, doing it properly, you might end up having like I don't know, you might just end up damaging your skin or something. So do a patch test somewhere here or maybe on your hand before you uh, do it on your face. But I have tried it out multiple times before and it hasn't damaged my skin or anything. And I did not face any kind of acne situation or anything of that sort. So it's completely safe to do it yourself. All you need is just a thread. Now, if you don't have the threading wala thread that the, the parlor wali aunties use, uh, then it's fine. You can also use just the tailor, jo ghar pe ek thread hoga, wo wala is also okay. It just make sure that the thread is not kacha wala dhaga. It's supposed to be a little stronger. So I'm using this. There's absolutely no brand to this, so please don't ask me. I'm not gonna give you any measurements to this. You guys can just try it out for yourself and see what size works best for you. So I'm gonna roughly take about this much and I'm gonna double it up because I wanna make a loop out of this. And you wanna tie up the end to get a nice loop out of the thread okay so this this is how it should look like okay and now once you have the loop ready you want to put all of your fingers inside like your four fingers both the hands inside and then you want to start twisting it so twist it about a good 10-15 oh, times so once you think you've twisted it enough this is how it should look like okay so you should be able to put all of your fingers inside and work it like a scissor like that with your fingers okay now i'm not saying that you're going to get it correct the first time it's going to take a little bit of practice but at least you know what i'm talking about right so this is the loop and then i have you know my fingers working like kenchi now the whole idea is to just place it where you want to thread and then just start locking it okay like that yeah i hope this video was helpful it was a super quick video you can use the same method all over your face if you require but i generally used to do only my upper lips and my eyebrow and this is how i did uh, and it does take a little bit longer than what i've shown you guys but um you know just just be patient and just do it very aramse because ultimately it's your face so just don't hurry with all of this after you're done with this you want to apply a little bit of aloe vera gel or maybe astringent or moisturizer according to your skin type um i do not prefer to apply anything for 
about 10-15 minutes I want the redness to kind of settle and then I apply a moisturizer. It's a super quick video but it's also like the need of the hour at the moment. I hope I was able to help you guys and if you end up doing it please let me know how it worked out for you. But with that it's a wrap for now. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did do not forget to give it a big thumbs up and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and with that I will see you next time. Bye!